So now we're going to go through a sumo deadlift. So your stance is a bit different to conventional. If you want to see how to do conventional, just check out my other video. Um, but for now, we're just going to be going through sumo. So your stance is outside of shoulder width and you want your toes facing outwards. So you don't want your toes facing forwards. Outwards will give you better support when you're locking out. So with your toes facing outwards, you want to again bend down, but keep your back straight, bend at the knees and grip the bar just at shoulder width apart. So not like this and not too narrow either. You can feel the knurling on the bar to see where your boundaries are. And then when you grip the bar, keep your back straight and pull upwards. So you're using your legs to push outwards, but at the same time, you're contracting your lats, squeezing your shoulder blades and pulling upwards. And you wanna keep the same stance when you're lowering the bar too. So you wanna keep your back straight, your lats engaged and lower the bar. When you're gripping the bar, you can do overhand or mixed again, same as conventional. But what you wanna do differently is just keep your feet pointing outwards and push up as you come up into the lift. My top tips for a sumo deadlift is make sure your feet are always pointing outwards. Make sure your arms and your grip is just shoulder width apart. Make sure that your lats are constantly engaged throughout the bottom and the top of the lift and make sure your back remains straight throughout the whole bar path.